Good morning everyone, today we have come to the Zocco Market which is one of the most popular places to come on a Sunday morning. So come with us as we find out what makes it so popular. Market is one of the Costa Blanca's longest running markets. It has been attracting locals and holiday makers for over 20 years and makes for a great Sunday morning outing. The market is located just a few minutes drive from Casada and is about 15 minutes drive from Torre Vieja and is open every Sunday from 8.30 till 2pm. This market has a huge selection of stalls to browse and is very similar to the other markets. But one thing I noticed about this market, which is better than the others, is that they have a great selection of home and garden furniture and accessories. They also have a good selection of cleaning products, kitchenware and gadgets for the house. And a lot of other markets didn't have that to offer. You'd also find a large variety of clothes, shoes and accessories on sale here. So as we're walking around, I'm noticing that the clothes here are actually so much more expensive than the other markets I've visited. And it's not just by a euro or two euro, like some of the dresses, they're all priced for like 10 euros. And at a market, you would never pay that price. Usually it's about three euros, maximum five euros. So it's almost double here. So I wouldn't recommend coming here if you're looking for clothes. Another thing I noticed is that they have a lot of children's clothes and toys available which makes this quite unique. One main reason why people may choose to come to the Zocco market is to grab some lunch, as there's loads of places to get food and drinks. As there is hardly any shade at Zocco market, the drink stalls do a roaring trade. These offer soft drinks, ice cold beers, wine, spirits, fresh fruit juice, coffee, tea and ice creams. Those with a hearty appetite can tuck into a full English breakfast or rack of ribs. Snack items include salads, fries, baked potatoes, sandwiches, baguettes, burgers, hot dogs, pies and pizza. If you're a wine lover, you must make sure to check out the bodega that sells numerous local wines and all at a great price. So we've just come into this little bodega and the guy was saying that you buy one of these bottles for 40 cents and then you get to fill it up with any sangria or wine that you like. They're all at different prices, but it's all very cheap. He's going to let me try some. It should be fun. <laughs> it's only 10 in the morning, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, that's nice. You like it? Yeah. It's got a nice aftertaste, actually. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Neck it. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah? Yeah. There's even a store here that does Reiki. So if you're looking for an energy tune-up, make sure to check that one out. The woman here is really friendly and you're in capable hands. So we've just stopped off in this lovely store. It's called Circle of Health and they're selling all crystals and you can do crystal water and stuff like that. And the woman here is going to give me a little session of Reiki. They do Reiki here. So uh, I'm going to have a little demonstration. So relaxing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, what a lovely experience. I would definitely recommend anyone who's passing by on the Zocco Market, if you would like to have a short Reiki session, come and stop by with this lovely lady. She's Thank fantastic. You. So after my Reiki session, the lady told me to choose a card from the little basket and it's got like a little word on it and it's supposed to be your word of the day. Mine is awareness. So it was just such a lovely experience. If you plan on visiting the Zocco Market, there are plenty of places to park. But although it has a large car park, this fills up fairly quickly during the summer months, so it's best to get here as early as you can. We arrived at 10.30, but people were still arriving at 12. 
There are a few aisles to park in, but when it gets busy, it can be confusing remembering where you left your car. So take a mental note which aisle you parked in by remembering which landmark is at the end of the aisle. The big orange being one of them, selling the freshest orange juice around. So we've just finished walking around the market and we've had a lovely morning. It's a lovely way to spend a Sunday morning. I've got to admit, I have been to better markets, I think. It's very big, yeah. but it's very touristy and you will pay the touristy prices here. I'd say a lot of the things were a bit more pricey here. Do you think that as well? I agree, I agree. Yeah. But it was a nice sight. It weren't too big. Definitely. So on a hot day like this, you don't want to be walking around big, massive markets. I agree. Get everything you need yeah. from this market. Yeah, you will be paying a little bit more. Like, for example, the clothes which you would find at the other markets that we've been to, that I would have paid two or three euros for there, are 10 euros here yeah but I've noticed that there were a lot of things for your home and garden here which a lot of the other markets yeah. don't have to offer so if you want to get home and garden things this is a perfect market to come to for that there wasn't as much fruit and veg on offer that I've seen on other markets I agree I think the Almoradi market that we did was a lot better yeah definitely fruit and veg anyway and I felt the Almoradi market and the lemon tree market you felt like you were having a proper Spanish experience yes. whereas here a lot of the store holders are actually English, yes. so you know it wasn't as much as a like a traditional Spanish experience. But like everyone was very friendly and welcoming, yeah. and uh, we've had a great time. Yeah. So uh, it's a lovely way to spend the Sunday morning. So I would definitely recommend coming up here. But I would also recommend checking out a few of the other markets around as well. So this wouldn't be the only market I would yeah. recommend coming to. Yeah. But we've had a great time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've been here yourself, let me know in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button as I keep making loads more content and things to do in the area to give you guys ideas. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Friday.